What is the, the topic? What's the topic? Will the Messiah really come on a donkey? On a donkey? Why not? Why not in a Volvo? Okay, or in a in a uh, Ferrari. Why not in a uh, Toyota? Right. Or Audi. But they're not safe. No, they're not safe. <laughs> well, will the will the Messiah really come on a donkey? Why not a Volvo? Okay. Please tell us. Okay. So we know that Tanakh cannot be understood without the Talmud, without the Oral Torah. Zechariah says that Messiah will come riding on a donkey. So what does that mean, Messiah will come riding on a donkey? It also says in the Torah, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We know that not to be taken literally. In the year 1265, Nachmanides, Ramban, had a disputation in Barcelona right. against Pablo Cristiani. Right. Pablo Cristiani was a renegade Jew. Right. He became a monk. He became a rabid anti-Semite. Self-hating. Right. He challenged Nachmanides to a debate. Right. And that was written. It's called Disputation of Barcelona. You can actually buy the booklet translated in English. Ramban kept a uh, log okay. of the debate. It's available today in English. Mm -hmm. Ramban's own uh, version of the debate, translated from the Hebrew into English, and it's been made into a movie mm -hmm. done very well by the British Broadcasting Company called the, Dispu called the Disputation. At, it's an old movie. It's called The Disputation of Barcelona. And you can probably rent the video. Mm -hmm. So there, the Ramban points out that the Talmud consists of two sections, Halakha and Agada. And only the Halachic part of the Talmud must be taken literally. The Agadic part of the Talmud is not to be taken literally. It's an allegory. It contains deep hidden messages. So for instance, what is the... Uh, and a lot of the prophets are also not to be taken literally. That's why you cannot study the prophets, you cannot study the Talmud without a teacher. Okay. Because that's why, that's the Mesorah. The Mesorah that has to be from, from teacher to disciple. If we just read the words, you get all mixed up and get all confused. The same thing with the prophets. Mm. Or even the Torah itself, which says an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. True. Or it says in the book of Exodus, no one should leave their place on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. That means you can't leave your house on the Sabbath day, right? Right. What does it mean that? So what does it mean? What does it mean on a chamor? What does it mean that Mashiach will come on a chamor? If you ever see a chamor in a Mount Zion, we see plenty of chamorim. <laughs> We don't know who's riding whom, <laughs> you know. But there's one thing strange about a chamor. A chamor will go forward, right, and he will stop, stop, and then he will what? Go backwards. The chamor goes forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. That's not a straight path. So Zechariah teaches that Mashiach will come, but he'll come like a chamor goes. The gula will not be a straight path. There'll be many setbacks. But don't be discouraged. In the end, the Hamora will get, get there. there. The Gula will get there. But there will be setbacks, like the Gush Katif expulsion, right. acts of terrorism, God forbid. You would but say, not, yeah. but not, and all this talk about giving you Shalayim of God yeah. forbid. These are only temporary setbacks, the way the Hamor progresses, it's forwards and backwards, and that's why the Gula will come. That's what Zechariah means, that the, the Gula will not be a straightforward process. There will be setbacks, but in the end we will make it. And the, uh, and the Zohar says that the final Gula will follow the pattern of the first Gula. The first Gula from Mitzrayim, was that straight? There were many, many setbacks. Right. When Moshe first came to Pharaoh with the message, let my people go, did things get better? They got worse. And then in the Midbar, on the way to Eretz Yisrael, one setback after another, the golden calf, the spies, right. the sins of the Maraglim, the Moabite women, one setback after another. In the end, we made it. Right. But those Zohar said that just like the first Kuhula had many, had many setbacks and regression, 
but in the end we made it, so the final gula will also be that way. It won't be a straight path. It will be the way a donkey moves. And that's the uh, shot in Zechariah, that the Shia will come on a chamor. Wow. It's not to be taken literally. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Yona. <laughs> Tonight they had a mind reader. The mind reader? I thought they had a singer, but the guy tells me there's a guy that can read your mind. Oh, well. Okay. Spooky, spooky.